After dozens of emergency roadside workers are killed by motorists who are either impaired, distracted, or careless. And that's why we have that move over, slow down law. Anavid's back highlighting the problem and the solution. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Owen and Lisa. Tow truck drivers and emergency responders risk their lives every day just by going to work. I spoke with local law enforcement, AAA Texas, and tow and go operators to learn more about what we can all do to help keep our emergency crews safe. According to AAA Texas, an average of 24 emergency responders, including tow operators, are struck and killed by vehicles while helping other drivers on the side of the road. There's really nothing you can do. I mean, you have to hope, hope that the people are okay. This means someone in the sign of work is either injured or killed every other week nationwide. Andre McDaniel is a truck operator with Tow and Go and describes one of his experiences trying to service a vehicle that was on the side of the freeway. Lights on, flashing, everything, and then all of a sudden the lady comes through and hits the back of my tow truck. Guess he didn't see me, so. And he's not the only one. Law enforcement officers also share their stories with me. And it just happened so fast, and um, so my, but my main concern was like, what direction would I go so I don't get run over? We always like to help them get off the freeway safely, and even though sometimes I'm feeling like I'm putting my life uh, at Jeopardy doing it is something that I still uh, get much gratification from. It's a dangerous job and I'm, I'm very um, appreciative of my guys and women that are out there doing this job because they're putting their lives in harm's way. Uh, it's no different than a, a fire apparatus uh, blocking traffic. Our goal is not to be hit. Mm. Our goal is to provide attention to the, the uh, emergency that's on the side of the road and sometimes unfortunately we're struck. AAA Texas found that 42% of drivers believe not slowing down or moving over was considered dangerous to roadside crews, and 23% didn't even know the law existed. We total up the numbers between 2015 and 2019, uh, Texas leads the nation in the number of people who are struck and killed outside of a stranded vehicle. So the next time you see an incident on the side of the road, remember, Move over a lane or slow down 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit, it could be life or death. According to the Harris County Sheriff's Office, if you don't follow the law, the fine can be anywhere from upwards of 100 bucks minimum up to $300, excuse me. So it can range from $100 minimum up to $300. So, and Lisa, so, you yeah. know, it's, it's going to cost you if you don't obey the law. Yeah, more importantly, right, it's the safety feature. Exactly. Factor out right. there. Thank you, Anavid. Mm -hmm. Good yeah. message to put out there, Anavid. Thanks.